Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Su-30 MKI forms the backbone of Indian Air Force with nearly 260 of them in active service. The fighter jet is integrated with a powerful N011 BARS PESA radar. However, the little known fact about this radar is that it's not a complete PESA or a complete AESA radar. It's a hybrid radar with features of PSA and AASA both. Each transceiver of the BARS radar has its own receiver amplifier just like an AASA radar and similar sensitivity and side lobe performance. However, for transmitting, the radar uses a single traveling wave tube like PSA radar. Each transceiver is having noise level of 3 decibel which is again similar to an ASA radar. The N011M BARS antenna consists of two separate electronically controlled arrays which are an X-band radar with 8 to 12 GHz frequency and a L-band IFF transponder with 1 to 2 GHz frequency. The radar has a peak power of 4 to 5 kW and is capable of beaming in 400 microseconds which is a huge improvement over the mechanically scanned PSA radar. It won't be easy to jam N011 BARS radar as it can change its frequency just like an AASA radar. This radar can scan up to plus minus 7 degree in azimuth and plus minus 45 degree in vertical axis. It can be mechanically steered to plus minus 55 degree of bore side. This adds up to a full plus minus 100 degree of bore side in forward hemisphere with 3 decibel noise which is again similar to the performance of an AESA radar. In an air-to-air -air mode, N011M can track 15 targets and engage 4 of them simultaneously. It has 400 km of search range, 200 km of track range and 60 km track range in rear. For an aircraft of a size of a tanker or refueler, the N011M has a 350 km search range and a 200 km of tracking range. It can detect a fighter like MiG-21 from a range of 135 km and a fighter of size F-16 from a range of 140 to 160 km. The Su-30 MKI can also function as a mini AVOX because it can act as a director or command post for other aircraft. It can share the target coordinates automatically to at least four other aircraft. In air to ground or maritime mode, the aircraft can track 15 targets and engage two of them. For tanks, it has detection range of 60 km and for naval warship or destroyer, it has a range of 90 to 120 km. It also features synthetic aperture radar imaging, Doppler beam sharpening, real beam mapping and ground maritime moving target indicator. Now this context of existing Su-30 MK radar was important to understand before we talk about its upgrade which is going to take a good amount of time. We have just discussed that uh, Su-30 MKI features a hybrid PSA radar. However, an AASA radar has its own advantage of better detection range and better electronic countermeasure capabilities. As we are all aware that the development of baseline Uttam AASA radar for LCA Mark 1A is complete and on 26th August 2022, DRDO has formally completed the transfer of technology for the production of radar to HAL. However, the version of Uttam AS radar which is being developed for Su-30 MKI is going to be an improved gallium arsenide based radar with more densely packed quad TR modules which will enable to pack more TR modules in same space. Further, Su-30 MKI has a larger nose cone which allows fighter jet to have more number of TR modules. It is expected to feature approximately 1200 to 1300 TR modules. Now this would require development of a new upscaled version of Uttam AS radar. As per reports from Delhi Defense Review, the Indian Air Force has initiated the development of a scaled up version of Uttam to equip Su-30 MKI fighter fleet. Indian Air Force will depute some Su-30 MKI units for the development, integration, flight testing and certification of the radar. The development of this scaled up version of Uttam 
Fossil 30 MKI will require 36 to 48 months with flight testing estimated to begin after 24 months. Now considering these timelines, the Uttam AES radar for Su-30 MKI is expected to be ready by the year 2029. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.